Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for your praise tonight. You are all welcome to our first week service, wherever you are around the world. Uh, those in the YouTube, in the Facebook, and Zoom, you're all welcome. Amen. 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 Yeah, first I would like to say thank you, big thank you to our senior pastor, Pastor Adam Sebeji and Pastor Zama for giving me this opportunity to share the word of God with you tonight. I'm grateful. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Amen. 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 Um, everyone, we should open our mouth and pray to the Lord. Thank God for everything is, is done in our life. And also, we should pray to thank God uh, for the soul, for the vision, one man, one soul. Hallelujah. Open your mouth, church, and pray. Le mason tale carabia salando de la catayera basota yanda, e cabaria in darabostalo, caradenda in garapo soya de lata, e gaba soya na mandori patara corata, stipa saira in andolu para posa carapociata yara postalea, e catorinza in mandora tepa in a manosa carapota e garapo, prato belando zucatea mandoca shamia naroba. Ragabosilanda <laughs> Ora teka ba ya seta kara na bosa. Open with me in the book of Psalm 8934. Book of Psalms, chapter 89, verse 34. I will read. My covenant will I not break, no altar thing that is gone out of my lips. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My covenant will I not break, no alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Tonight, I'm going to share the word of God titled, Our Covenant Commitment to God's House. This is part one. Amen? Amen. Our Covenant Commitment to God's House. This is part one. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. So we we'll start with the definition first. What is covenant? Covenant. Yeah? What is covenant? Hallelujah. Amen. Covenant, uh, in a biblical way, covenant is an agreement which brings relationship of commitment between God and His people. So there is agreement and a commitment. Amen. Um, and in a secular way, I can mm. say covenant is a chosen relationship or partnership in which two parties make binding promises to each other and work together to reach a common goal. Amen. Mm. So we have seen is an agreement and commitment within with two parties. Hallelujah. So we mm -hmm. are committed 
to do Amen. our side, Amen. and God is committed to do His side. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have seen that every covenant has two has two parties, and each individual in the covenant um, must honor their obligation to the covenant for it to be manifested. Anything you want it to be manifest manifested in the covenant has to have two parties and those two parties are to honor the agreement. Hallelujah. Amen. All honor is party of covenant. So now also we must remain committed and faithful to honor our parts of the covenant. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so open with me in the book of Malachi, chapter 3. We'll read it from verse 10 uh, to 12. Hallelujah. New Amen. King James Version. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Malachi 3, 10 to 12. Amen. Amen. Says, Bring all the time in the storehouse that there may be food in my house mm -hmm. and try me now in this say the lord of hosts if i will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will be no room enough to receive it hallelujah Amen. Amen. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Nor shall mm. the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, say the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed, for you will be delightful land, say the Lord of, lust, of hosts. Amen. 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 We can see what God, uh, God, our Father, our Heavenly Father, has given us uh, this covenant with us. He said, try me. Mm -hmm. Try me. Bring the tithe into my storehouse, and there may be food in my house. So bring the offering, the tithe in his storehouse. And he has also, yeah, on his part, he said, he will open the windows of heaven and pour how such a blessing to us. And there, there will be no room for us to receive. So God has given this opportunity, a chance. So I urge you, my brethren, to try God. He has given this opportunity to try him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Amen. 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 Um, Free. Uh, things we must know about God's covenant. There are four things which we need to know about God's covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, number one, God has covenant with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, um, in a new covenant, which we know that uh, God said, if you believe, that Jesus is the son of God and you confess in your mouth that he is the son of God. It means mm. you are born again. He has told us that he will restore our communion and he will forgive our sins. If you read it from in Romans 10, chapter 9, chapter 10, 9 to 10. Yeah, so God has covenant with us. He will forgive our, uh, our sins. And we have to be born again. That's the covenant God's given to us. Number two, God is faithful to keep his covenant. We know that always God is faithful. God is a good God. He's faithful to us. He said he will never leave us nor forsake us because he is a faithful God. Yeah, if we look into First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, uh, the word of God says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, 
but with the temptation will also make a way that you may be able to escape. So God will not leave you, will not forsake you. Mm. Even when you go through troubles, but focus in him, he says, if you trust him, that's the covenant, he will make a way for you to escape. Another scripture from First Peter, uh, First Peter 4.19, it says, so if you're suffering in a manner that pleases God, keep on doing what is right and pass your life, life to God who created you, for he will never fail you. God already said that he will never fail us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There are four things we Amen. must know about God's covenant. Number three is God does not break his covenant with us. Mm. Yeah, we can see our foundation is scripture. Amen. Our Amen. foundation Amen. is scripture, which he says the words that he come out of his mouth will not alter or change. Yeah, nothing comes of his mouth will not be altered, will not be changed. So our God is a, is a God who doesn't break his covenant, does not violate. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And number four of four things we must know about God's covenant is God does not change his covenant concerning us. Hallelujah. Amen. He doesn't change his covenant with us. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. We can see Amen. in his words, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrew 13, 8. Also, we can see in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. He said, if we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. He cannot violate his promises. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. How reliable is the covenant of God? How is how reliable is the covenant of God? How is reliable? How reliable is the covenant of God? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read from Jeremiah 33, chapter 33, uh, from verse 19 to verse 22, and then later we'll go to 25 to 26. Uh, read the word of God says, And the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, That day the Lord, if you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night, so that there will not be day and night, in their season, then my covenant, my covenant may also be broken with David, my servant, so that he shall not have a son to reign on his throne, and with the Levite, the priest, my minister. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, nor the son of the sea measured, so will I multiply the descendant of David, my servant, and Levites who ministers to me. Uh, to chapter 25 now, Jeremiah 33, 25. That says the Lord, if my covenant is not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinance of heaven and earth, then I will cast away the descendant of Jacob and David, my servant so that I will not take any of his descendants to be rulers of the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause captives to return and will have mercy on them. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So what level of commitment does God ex expect from us? Definitely there is a level of commitment God is expecting from all of us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, let's look at Luke 8, 1, chapter 8, verse 1. 
Now it came to pass afterward that he went through every city and village, preaching and bringing the glad tiding of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And certain women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom had come seven demons. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart, and Susan, and many other who provided for him from their substances. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, as I've said, Amen. what level of commitment does God expect? expect it from all of us mm -hmm. in our church in solution chapel international we've got a month of vision one man one soul so vision one man one soul is god's covenant for us all we must all honor god by inviting one person to church this mm -hmm. sunday amen amen yeah. Friends, we've got family members, colleagues, neighbors. Amen. Our man of Amen. God always say, Don't wait until his last. Don't wait mm. until it ends. This mandate started from 6th of February, is ending from March 13th. Mm. Talk to people, invite people. So start your covenant practice from where you are. Start it today. The word mm. of God in Genesis 13, verse 14 says, And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot had separated from him, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants. Amen? Amen. 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 <clears throat> invite people, invite to church. Delay obedience is the same as to disobey. So mm -hmm. this mandate, we have to follow the instruction and we have to start now. And we Ooh. know that if you not obey, there is a consequence. So what is the consequence of dishonoring the covenant of God? What is it? Yeah, if we look at first Samuel, verse 2, chapter 2, verse 30, and the Lord of the word of God says, Therefore, the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed that your house and the house of your father will walk before me forever. But now the Lord says, Far before it from me, for those who honor me, I will honor, and those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed. I'm sure we don't want to go on the bad side. We just want God to honor us, to honor us. So if we want the blessing, if we want Anything good from above, from God, we have to start now. Invite our neighbor. Mandate, our mandate, one man, one soul. Vision, one man, one soul. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And we yes. see that, that God doesn't alter his ways. He doesn't violate his promises. He mm. doesn't change what he has already said. So, church, let's invite one another. Vision, one man, one soul. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, church, um, this is the end of service today. Um, let's pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you for your words. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, 
in the YouTube, Facebook, anyone who hasn't given a, his life, a life to Jesus, this is the time God has given us covenant, that covenant. He said he will forgive your sin and he will so communion with the, the relationship with Amen. you. Amen. So let's give our life to Jesus. Amen. And please, all of you, you can follow this prayer, the salvation prayer, which I'm going to pray. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I come to you today. I, I come, come, to, come you to you today. today. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. sinner. But you died for me. But you, you died, died for me. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Jesus Christ, come into my life today. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, come into my life today. Be my Lord and my Savior. Be my, my Lord and my Savior. Savior. Take control of my life. Take Take control, control of my life. life. From this day forward. From, from this, this day, day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. Thank, Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. Hallelujah. If you are praying with me, now you are a child of God. Amen. 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 Glory. Thank you, Thank you Father. God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Amen. Um, now I will hand over to Pastor Zama for benediction. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank God for the powerful words um, of the covenant keeping God. We know that our God.